Ha <laughs> ha YouTube. Hey YouTube, hey Egypt. How's it going? More guitar up close and thingy. This is my Aria. Oh, it's very dusty. I'll just uh, I'll just uh, paintbrush that uh, headstock a little bit so you can actually see it. This is my Aria Thor Sound. What's it saying below? Original custom body patent number, blah, blah, blah. I've got a funny feeling if you look up that patent number, I've not done it on this particular guitar, but I've done it on my PB1500 Aria bass, which is like a Les Paul bass, and that the patent number that's on it is for a neck join. There's a, a very specific neck join on the PE series that kind of... Um, it kind of goes across like this and it's got like a smooth sort of semi bow on uh, is for that and the the base that that's actually written on is a through neck so it doesn't have a neck join at all i've had that before with hondo guitars where it's got a patent for something for a headstock shape but the hondo i had didn't have a, a, a that have that shape so I, I wouldn't surprise me if that patent is the same one for the neck join on a pe which this does not have yeah, so this is, I'm not sure exactly, it's a TS something, Europe only, apparently, and cheaper. The, the, the lowest TS one you get is a TS300, which is basically this, apart from it doesn't have this, see what you would now call a satin finish, or like a not got very much finish on it finish. Um, they're normally glossy and the, the, the TS300 is definitely higher up in the range than this. I've put P90s in this. This was originally just two single coils. So it was a kind of weird one because it was like Telecaster wiring or Geosonic because you've got like your two single coils and then it's kind of like an SG sort of here but it's also like a Strat shape. It's kind of a, a little mixture of all of them. Um, But this this was the cheapest one there's also one that was slightly above it which I, so i reckon this is a ts 100 something like that and there's a ts 150 or a ts 200 which is this guitar again but with three single coils and a blade switch um yeah so these pickups are out of a our gnl american p90s i wanted a p90 this is it's very sabbathy to me i know it's not actually an sg but it's a very sabbathy type guitar i love the i love maple necks when possible um before I got it, these the saddles have been replaced. The saddles are quite bad on some of these guitars. The cheaper ones, they just break. You know, the, the weak point. So this one's got roller saddles on it, like modern aluminium ones. Fine. They work. Same with the tuners. The tuners on this are Wilkinson. Uh, Grover types. They're excellent. Thoroughly recommend the Wilkinson Grover types. Can I tell the difference between them and real Grovers? Apart from the fact they see Wilkinson in the back, no, I can't. They're better than the one than the ones see the, the Grovers you get on Epiphones now. They're not real Grovers, or they are real Grovers, but they're not real Grovers. Does that make sense? They're kind of branded, but it's kind of almost like if you imagine what Epiphone are to Gibson, you get Grovers because you think, oh, I've I've done this before. You know, you look up an Epiphone and you go up here, oh, those Grovers are worth sixty quid. These are not the ones you buy for sixty quid. Um they're different these are closer to the the real ones i've got a few guitars that i've got the real ones on them and i've got a few that i've got the cheap ones on them and they're still the cheap ones are still fine they're all right they're just not as good um you really are talking here about oh how smoothly does it turn does it really matter how smoothly they turn to the point of do they turn do they turn smoothly yeah it's fine do they turn super super smoothly and it's like i don't really spend that much time tuning so it doesn't really matter yeah so 22 frets 25 and a half inch scale um i suppose a, a, a very very basic and stripped down guitar a little bit concerned about how little that there is there <laughs> it's like that's i would kind of want the neck to be a bit less and that to be a bit thicker but it's it's kind of survived there is a hole there that the guy put a screw in and filled it you can see there's your aria pro 2 two for 1982 and then made in japan which they all say if you've got an aria pro 2 it might say the accurate bolt on system or the super smooth joint and it'll have the same serial number but it doesn't say made in japan it's not a japanese one i'm afraid uh so it's through strung like a telly as well uh i think is it sycamore this guitar it's a funny kind of wood it's kind of got a slight coffee table you know or maybe le less coffee table more more dinner table or more chair <laughs> like dining chair thing is but maybe this has got the neck on it 
it's a three piece. Look at the bird's eye on the neck. Obviously, I, I, my um, it's a three piece. A, but I would I would rather see that all that bird's eye was on this side so you could see it when you were playing, but not there. But it's just it's super strong to have you know a three piece neck. It's it's it's, it's a better system. Um, I, I think it's a cheaper system, but I mean it's just better because you've got the grain. You know the 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 woods the wood is always going to bend with the grain. So this what you do is you get you get three bits of wood. One's got the wood grain going that way. One's got the grain going that way. One's got the grain going that way. So it kind of holds itself straight. And it's a separate fingerboard as well. Again, this one needs a bit of a clean. Um, it's it's just not very clean. Again, this might have extra strings on it, so it might be. Well, they really just want to polish up those frets a little bit. But again, I keep looking through these guitars, and it's like they're all so good. I mean, this this is a a very cheap and basic guitar. It's just what they spent the money on. They spent the money on putting it together really well. Okay, the bridge, I'd imagine the, the, the saddles probably broke because they were a bit shit. The tuners were a bit shit. But remember, in a set of a Wilkinson bridge and a Wilkinson tuners, you're probably talking 40 or 50 quid to put them on and there's not really any difference. It's not It's not a, a luthier job putting tuners in. You know, you can if you can put up a shelf, you can change them. So it's that's, that's not a biggie. Um... Hello, Harley Benton, with your... Oh, we've got the expensive stuff put on badly. So you, that's not, you're much better having cheap stuff built really well. Um, the original pickups for this weren't, weren't fantastic. They were all right. Uh, but I just, I'd had the option for these uh, g &L pickups. And it's just... This guitar sounds phenomenal. It really does. It's got... I like these notched um, knobs as well, which are really annoying because they're expensive. You can buy the ones that aren't notched for like... A pound for four, and these are like a five at each. Like uh, these are these are just the original ones from the guitar. I mean, you really can't get much more basic. It's like it's basic to the point of it's been designed to be cheap. Manufacturing wise, just dump, 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 bolt it together. Kind of like the original Telecaster a little bit. Um, you can kind of tell it's cheap, but in fact, it's only got a single ply scratch plate. It seems to be. It must. I don't think it makes any difference now, but but there must have been a time when a single ply scratch plate was cheaper than a three ply one. Whereas now you just buy them in China. A fiver, or whatever it is. Um, it would be really annoying if this was missing. I'm quite pleased this has got. It's quite common for guitars like this. Although, although I do like an output socket, a jack socket on the front. That's probably why this one hasn't broken because it's got the the edge connector. But um, the tendency is if you've got the, the jack socket going in the front, at some point someone stood on it, snapped the scratch plate. So you get a lot of guitars, not this model, but ones that are kind of a bit like this where. It's you know there's, there's someone's had to make this bit of the scratch plate because it snapped or something like that. Um, there's no other reason why it would snap. But yeah, it's like the, the neck on it's it's, a, it's just wonderful. I can't. I, I, you're going to get a lot of this in these videos. You've already had a lot of this in these videos. Why do I have these? It's because it's pure amazing, and it's not. It's it will. It does not. It will not fetch what it's worth money wise as a as a guitar as a just p looking at it purely as a tool it's it's top notch it doesn't have the fancy shit on it you know binding and, and, and all that stuff but that, none of that makes it sound or play any different i would gig this again all these guitars i've gone through i would gig absolutely no problem at all and if i was stuck for two weeks locked out my house or whatever it was and i had to I, this is the only guitar you've got that's fine I can play anything on this. Brilliant. This, this is this is my P90 guitar. Is it my only P90 guitar? No, I've got the Gibson Les Paul. I need to sell that. See, that's the thing. It's like, this is better than the Gibson Les Paul 50s tribute that I've got. It's it's just better. Um, anyone who has a shot of the two of them is going to be blinded by oh but it's a gibson les paul it's a gibson guess a gibson oh it's a gibson yeah it is not as good a guitar as this in the p90s it's not as good nothing nothing about it's as good nothing <laughs> it's like, uh, maybe the tuners are better but I mean, the tuners have been upgraded in this so it's fine uh, and, and in the state it's in just now so if you find one of these um it is the possibility of finding one at a car boot sale for 20 quid it's possible you know what i mean you're not going to find a gibson or a you know a, a, an expensive Fender or anything like that, a car boot sale for fifty quid or whatever, but you get a chance of finding this because it's just it's just a guitar. Oh, it's not it's not a Strat or a Tele. It's not worth anything. 
which is there's a certain element of truth to that. I did not pay a lot for this. Um, again, this is coming in at cheaper than a Harley Benton, and I'm not even in the same book as the Harley Benton. Per, I I I would. Even th this is sitting here, but the strings on it are probably three years old. There are elixirs, though. It's a bit dirty. It could do with a lot, but the French could do with being polishing. I'd put this up against any Harley Benton, straight up. And it's like, I, I don't even need to play it. It's like, oh, that, yeah, there's your favourite your favorite Harley Benton. There you go. You, you play that. Right, right, right. Have a shot of this. What do you think? And they're, they're going to lie. They've, they've got two choices. They can lie, or they can say, my God, this is amazing, so much better. Or... I've got so much invested in this. It's the same thing with the Gibson. Oh, the, what do you mean? This is a better guitar. That Gibson cost me £2,000. Therefore, it's better. No, it did cost £2,000. It's worth an awful lot more money. Gibson's worth way much more money than this. Which guitar would you want? You, here's your two guitars. One's your guitar. One's your backup. Which one are you going to use at the gig? This one. The Gibson's the backup. Obviously, because this is a much better guitar. Which one do you want here? I've already got the two of them, remember? But you're stuck with it. There we go. Oh, the Gibson! Sell that. Buy one of these. And one of them. And one of them. With the money. <laughs> Sorry, hating on Gibson so much. I do, I do really not like that guitar, though. The thing about that, about the Gibson I've got as well, is I had that a year and a half ago, two years ago. And I did all the fretwork and got it set up and it's playing better. It's like one of the best playing Les Pauls I've ever played because I, I, I spent a day making it play as good as it possibly could and then a year later or two years later my pal stripped it down was going to get it painted because his pal was going to paint it from the um, who paints cars his pal shat at it he's like oh, do, you want to, do you want to paint it for me like, I'm not painting a guitar fuck that you know what I mean I don't mind doing a Bucky caster but I'm not doing a Gibson Les Paul it's not going to make it worth more money um like, oh, fuck it. You'd just buy it then so I ended up buying it myself for Christmas just so I own a Gibson Les Paul and it's a good one unfortunately it's been sanded down but that's how, how I could afford it that's why it wasn't you know 700 quid or something stupid um, still not decided what I'm going to do with that the original plan was I was going to get Jen to paint it but then again the thing is if I got Jen to paint it I would have wanted I might have wanted to keep it but the thing is I just don't like the actual guitar um, it's a shame it's a shame. I, I, I kind of wanted to. I tried so hard. I tried so hard going, you know, lying to myself going, no, that is good. It, it sounds good. It does. It does. And it, it plays well. It's good. It's a good guitar. It is. It is. And it's like, then you pick up this one and you go, this is a fucking good guitar. Rock on. I'm enjoying doing these. I'm going to do tons of these. I'll just do all the guitars I can see. <laughs> sorry if you're getting bored. Not really that sorry. But hey, uh, I've, I've not I've not been well the last couple of weeks and my, my videos have really gone downhill so hopefully these are actually alright rock on love you all